engagement with posts that are fun is great. Our engagement with posts that tell you to come to the library, less great. So we're going to be looking in the next few months on ways um, to make sure that we're we're getting the right return on our investment on spending time in those areas. Um, we know that people enjoy the, the content that we post, um, but we're, we're gonna have to take a look and see if it's drawing people into the building. It, it might be okay if it's not, if it's building a community of people who are enjoying our content and learning about us um, and coming to the, you know, finding out about programs elsewhere, that, that's great, it makes them get excited to see off the shelf come in their mailbox, that can be really good engagement. Um, so we're gonna be taking a look at, at our content there. Sir Beth, have you explored next door will met? Because I don't know if the, the village will met post stuff on there on a regular basis, like like for example right now about like about like leaf pickup and stuff like that. So it's usually neighbors that are posting things about looking for help for babysitters or who to go right. for roof repair. But for a special event, it might also be a place. Sure, to, I, I am familiar yeah, with yeah, next door. Yeah, so I, don't, um, I didn't know. I didn't think about it you know, until you started talking about it. Yeah, yeah. we'll uh, we'll take a look at that as we as we start to think about other formats we can use yeah. to reach different audiences. Is there any way to measure how many households you're reaching with these resources? With social media or with the social report? Um, we know our followers, um, and we, we know where they are. They are local, mm -hmm. um, but it, it doesn't give us enough data to know, you know if they're library mm -hmm. card holders. Um, we do we do have a, the Gale Analytics product. I don't I don't know if Anthony has spoken about that, um, but we, we just got it. We are actually waiting to get our very our first new batch of data, which will help us look at some of the some of the community, mm -hmm. um, and and we can start to look at that against Facebook or against program evaluations, which is something else that we've started doing this year, and, and see if we can suss some information out. That Any other questions? Uh, no, just a uh, question on uh, doing all this means a lot more work for everybody, too, in one sense. Um, are the librarians as a whole excited about this also? And this do they participate? Hmm? Oh, the whole. Putting this together? Putting this together. This, yeah. I will say, was the easiest report that we have put together. Really? Uh, um, using a product that we um, that is, it, the Adobe Spark product is made to help you easily prepare mm -hmm. a dynamic website. So the work of it was figuring out what our story is, mm -hmm. but that's the work that I'm doing all the time. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, having those conversations with different departments and talking about it with Anthony and working on the infographics mm -hmm. with Sarah mm -hmm. is work for this project, but it also helps me decide what we're going to share on Facebook, and it helps mm -hmm. us what decide what stories are going to get prominent placement and off the shelf. So, you know, it's hard to, this one I, I would say was probably the easiest one we've ever done mm -hmm. because we could focus the work on telling the story yeah. and not mm -hmm. on designing a, a product that mm -hmm. was a one-use design, mm -hmm. which has been... That's a lot of yeah, work. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Oh, and it will. Um, it is in the next off the shelf, which comes out at the end of this month, and we will be sending it out via email to our full email blast mm -hmm. list. It's about ten thousand addresses, um, so they'll all get it, and we'll be able to track how many of them click through oh, to the. So report. it goes live in two weeks, or. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Mm -hmm. Let's proceed to the minutes. The minutes are behind tab number one. And they're the minutes from September 17th, 2019. 
approval of those minutes? Is there? Stuart will approve. Is there a second? second. John seconded. John mm -hmm. seconded. We need to roll call. Any discussion? Any discussion? Mm -hmm. Okay. Jane, you want to call the roll on sure. this? Mm -hmm. Trustee Riddle. Trustee. Yes. yes. <laughs> Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee Barshus. Yes. Trustee Fishman. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now we'll turn to uh, number uh, tab number five for the uh, treasures. Tab number three, really. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. Well, there is a an amended or revised financial report. Was that? Distributed to everyone? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, September is one of those months in which we see virtually no tax revenue directly. We did receive a $50,000 payment from Kenilworth Library District um, because they got their tax money in August, and just as we did, and they, as per their contract, made the uh, quarterly payment that is due. Uh, as a result of that agreement. Uh, we received 35000 in grant income. I'm assuming most of that was from the state grant, yes. the library, uh, the per capita. Uh, 22.5 in general interest, general fund interest, and uh, a little under 4000 in miscellaneous income. Um, our expenses are uh, slightly below the three-month rate and the accounts in which uh, expenditures exceeded that rate were largely things like subscription payments that fall early in the fiscal year. Uh, nothing extraordinary in the uh, check detail. Um, are there any questions about the financial report? I just wanted to make a comment. Uh, I think the expenditure report, uh, if it was there before, I missed it, but it looks new, uh, and it looks like Barb was trying to accommodate my request to give a little context that if we're slightly above or below where we're expected to be, so uh, if somebody could pass it along to her, that I appreciate that um, context in the report. I think that information has largely been there before. Yeah, this, is, this is the norm. Yeah, this is, this is the norm. This is, yeah, so this is yeah. Every learning something new every month. Well, that, yeah, it's, it's yeah. well, yeah, it's been, it's been yeah. Well, yeah. some of the trends in the expenditure report area, I agree that that seemed. Oh, it's been it's been typical. It's been typical nice. for oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is this has been this is every month. This is yeah. how she does it. So yeah. And I take it back. Okay, well, no don't thanks don't to her. her. Don't don't her. Withdrawn no, but, entirely. No, but, but Dan, she would thank you for paying attention. So that's good. So, right. and, and you, yeah, yeah, thank you for yeah, thank you for finally paying attention. So that's good. So yeah. So is there a motion? A motion to approve. Approve what? The I don't know, the financial report. Actually, the, the financial report requires no, no action. Uh, what okay. does require action so is bills and salaries. Bills and salaries. Bills and salaries. Ah, okay. uh, if you would like to make the motion to approve I'll, bills and salaries, sure, you're I'll welcome do, to. Thank you. I'll do that. I'll motion to approve bills and salaries. <laughs> Second. Okay. Any any question or discussion okay. regarding? There was that one uh, computer maintenance contract. Could you just uh, remind me which that one is? Um, I mean, computer view? Yeah. Is it just some... Um, computer view is our contracted land management firm. So they they manage all of the software accounts, uh, creation of, like, your library email account and, and so on. Um, so we outsource um, the our, our land management. Yeah. Yeah. Land? Local area network. Yeah. Got it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Okay. Trustee Rudel? Aye. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee Wolf? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Barshus? Yes. Trustee Fishman? Yes. Behind tab number four is the levy. And so uh, what you do the introduction and Trustee 
Ron, were Ron? you going to leave this one, or would you like to Yes. Do? Well, basically, the Finance Committee met and reviewed uh, the terms of the levy. There's been one adjustment since then. It was determined that the special funds, which are part of our fiduciary responsibilities, um, uh, were lower than had been anticipated. And so you will find in the special fund categories uh, some increases in the levy amounts for municipal retirement, Social Security, um, audit expense, and liability insurance. Uh, those increases were offset by decreases in the general fund uh, amount so that the total levy is exactly the same as what the Finance Committee approved and exactly the same as last year's levy. Uh, we will be drawing down some of the uh, reserves in the general fund um, if all of the expenses that are anticipated are incurred because the amount that is in special funds and the amount in the general fund are summed when they apply the tax cap. So it would happen anyway, but we wanted to levy to the special fund needs because that's part of our fiduciary responsibility in covering those costs, and we didn't want those funds to get behind. So that is an internal adjustment. Um, it does mean that the coming year, um, if all of the anticipated expenses occur, we will draw down some of the reserves in the general fund. Ron, would you be able to repeat increases in the special fund were offset by decreases in the general fund? Okay, I, that's what I thought you said, but I wanted to. So the total of the levy is flat, sure. of course, but there's sure some uh, offset. Uh, increases in special funds were offset by decreases in general That's fund right. levy. That's why the reserve may be drawn down somewhat to meet those expenses if the full amount anticipated is required for operating purposes during the coming year. If you look at the next to the last section, I think it might be a little easier to understand. Yeah, so there's three parts to um, tab four. The first, the first four pages, yes. um, well, I'm sorry, the first three pages relate to the proposed levy. The next several pages are the verbatim copy of the Budget and Appropriations Ordinance as context. Um, by law, the, the levy cannot exceed the appropriation. And then the third portion that follows um, is titled the uh, 1920 um, Tax Levy Overview. And on this document, there's a line-by-line -line overview of last year's levy, the 1819 levy in one column on the left. The middle column is the proposed levy, so the same content that's in the first portion of this tab. And then the third column is the working budget for your reference so that you can see what we're levying related to our budget. <laughs> so, question time? Sure. Um, so in our budget, we have $200,000 to the special reserve fund from the general fund, but in our levy, under the transfer to the special reserve from the, the general fund, we have zero. We do not levy for the special funds. We do not levy a transfer. The levy is what we send to the tax, to, um, to the public. Right. So, but I and guess. And that's the appropriation, that, the page that you're looking at there. So I'm looking at the, the tax levy on page two. Yes. And I'm looking at section five. You never so, levy for the reserve fund. That is an operating transfer if actual expenses turn out to be less than what was budgeted and appropriated. So we don't, it is possible to levy 
a special fund. We've never done so. Okay. Um, and if, do you know what sort of what you anticipate we're going to hit in our general reserve fund? Or will we, we're like 150% now. Do you think we'll be at 120%? Do you think we'll be at 100%? I'm how, not sure I understand the question. So how much are we, so you said we are aiming to drain our large general uh, operating surplus. I, don't, I wouldn't put it in the context of draining anything. We anticipate that if all of the uh, general fund expenditures that are in the budget are incurred, that we will draw down part of our, our operating fund reserve. How much? Uh, do you have an estimate of that, Anthony? I think the best way to illustrate that is on that third section that shows the past year's levy, the current proposed levy, and the working budget. So it looks like it could be 